We stay at hotels, motels, bed and breakfasts all over the world, and this might be the most unique place we've ever stayed here in Boston, B&B Afloat. Peter, you're the co-owner of B&B Afloat and Constitution Marina here. Your dad started this. Yep, back in the 60s. This Now, this is a beautiful, beautiful marina, and what a location. He just wanted, he was a boater, and all his friends wanted a place to put boats. There were no marinas back in the 60s. 14, 15 years ago, we decided that people were looking for another use for their boats, and this might be something interesting to try. So we started with a couple of our customers' boats. They've become so successful that we have probably a dozen boats and hotels that we use here at the marina and at other sites too. So describe the lady in the coach for our viewers because it's uh, we love this place. It's got a nice big sitting room. Yep, she's a nice um, motor yacht that's uh, used per privately owned and used and kept up for bread and breakfast. And with all the amenities too though, you've got a uh, shower, got the kitchen, and, yep. showers, the bedrooms are yep. big, the beds are huge. Yep. It's like living in a ho floating hotel. You really don't feel like you're on a yacht. No. And then our guys are checking into another one tonight. What's different about that one? Rosinante is actually my partner's boat and that's a 60 foot sailboat. And so there's, you know, the boats are different. Power boats tend to have more room inside. Sailboats tend to be more yachty. Uh, you know, V berths and, and double wide berths, but as opposed to very large berths, but they're just as comfortable. And the nice thing about these is, when you look out your window, you're looking at Boston. D Dock is where our boat is on. D Dock is supposedly world famous, I'm told. Oh, D Dock, yes. <laughs> Why is D Dock so famous? Oh, because of the people that uh, keep their boats on D Dock and the people that live here. We have uh, about 60 or 70 people that actually live at the marina year round. What do you love most about Boston? And what's Boston's best kept secret that maybe our viewers wouldn't know? Uh, it's just, it's a lot friendlier than people think. It's people, you can go up to anyone, ask them any question, and they'll stop and talk to you. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. We found that. Now, you do much more than just bed and breakfast mm -hmm. and manage the marina. You guys have charters, you do sunset right. cruises. Talk about that. Well, if uh, a bed and breakfast uh, customer would like to go out for three or four hours in the evening on a sailboat or a powerboat or virtually anything else that you want, we can arrange that. We took a water taxi in. Yeah. Courtesy of Bobby T. Bobby T has been our kind of Boston tour guide. He's a great guy to represent your business. Yeah, he is fabulous. We've had him for a number of years and uh, we put a lock and key on him so nobody's stealing him. I think that's a good call. Yeah. 